One letter, multiple meanings. The letter fa reveals the richness of the Arabic language. Hi, and welcome to Arabic with Amina. In this video, we will be exploring all the different meanings of fa. But before we do that, please like and subscribe. We'll start off with fa meaning the word buy. Let's take this sentence for example. شيئاً فشيئاً يبني العصفور عشو. Little by little, the bird builds its nest. The letter fa in this sentence means by. شيئاً فشيئاً Little by little. Another example is the sentence ترى العمر يتسلل يوماً فيوماً ولا تشعر به. You see life passing by, day by day, without realizing it. Just like the last example, the letter fa here means by. Yoman fa yoman, day by day. As the saying goes, the days are long, but the years are short. You wake up one day and you're like, what? We're at the end of the month? How did that happen? Life is just slipping through our fingers. So how did we know that the fa in the sentence شيئاً فشيئاً يبن العصفور وعشو and in the sentence ترى العمر يتسلل يوماً فيوماً ولا تشعر به How did we know that the fa means by? The secret to recognizing this type of fa is repetition. Take a look at the two sentences we just saw. Notice how fa is connected to the repeated word. شيئاً فا and then شيئاً يوماً فا يوماً When you see the word repeated, this is how we can identify the meaning of فا to be by. Our next meaning for فا is so. Such as in the sentence اجتهد فتنجح Work hard, so you succeed. The fa would be the equivalent to the word so. Work hard, so you succeed. This is also known as fa sababiya. Sabab, sabab means reason. So we have a reason, which is work hard. And if you work hard, you will succeed. So, ijtahid fatanja. Another example is, laysat al qissa haqiqiya fatakhaf. The story is not true, so you get scared. Again, we can see that fa, similar to the past example, means so. It's not a true story, it's fake, no need to get scared. Moving on to fa, meaning the word for. Sa'id Zaydan fahuwa sadiquk. Help Zaid, for he is your friend. Here the letter fa is equivalent to for. We are saying, do this for he is your friend. Help him. This is known as fa atta'liliya where we are saying to do something and then providing a reason. So help him out for he's your friend. Sa'id Zaydan fahuwa sadiquk. So we see here that the fa is equivalent to the word for, yeah? And we also said that the word fa could mean so, such as ijtahid fatanjah. This was our previous example. How can we tell the difference between the two? How do we know it means for or it means so? For the letter fa to mean for, notice how the sentence or the clause that is connected after fa is a nominal sentence. Huwa sadiquk. 
Whereas when fa means so, it is followed by a present tense verb. And this is how we can tell these two different meanings apart. Moving on to the meaning of fa equivalent to but. My son told the truth, but I did not believe him. We can identify the use of fa as but. As in this sentence, because the second clause contradicts or presents an opposing meaning to the first clause. So the second clause is lam usaddiqo. Did not believe him means obviously I thought he was telling um, a lie or something. He was not telling the truth. And the first clause, the beginning of the sentence, we say he told the truth. So what we're doing here is having two opposite meanings in the first clause and the second clause. And that's a tip in to identifying when the letter fa means but. The letter fa can also mean the word then. Ja'at salwa fa'amal fasara. Salwa came, then amal, then sara. The fa here is equivalent to then. And then is with the purpose of sequence. So we're saying first came salwa, and then came amal, and then came Sara. One, two, three. This type of fa is used for sequence or litaqlib. Our final meaning for the letter fa is when we use it to connect the response of a condition. I know this example looks overwhelming, but we don't actually want the whole text, but it's a nice hadith, and so I wanted to include it in the examples. عن عبد الله بن عباس رضي الله عنهما قال كنت خلف رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يوما On the authority of Abdullah bin Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, said, One day I was behind the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And he said, فقال and he said, يا غلام, إني أعلمك كلمات. O oh, young man, I shall teach you some words of advice meaning. أحفظ الله يحفظك. Be mindful of Allah and Allah will protect you. أحفظ الله تجده تجاهك. Be mindful of Allah and you will find him in front of you. إذا سألت if you ask, then ask Allah. وَإِذَا اسْتَعِنْتَ فَاسْتَعِنْ بِاللَّهِ And if you seek help, then seek help from Allah. وَعْنَمْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّةَ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَنْفَعُوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَنْفَعُوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ لَكَ And know that if the nation were to gather together to benefit you with anything, they would not benefit you except with what Allah had already prescribed for you. وَإِنَ اجْتَمَعُوا عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَضُرُّوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَضُرُّوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ And if they were to gather together to harm you with anything, they would not harm you except with what Allah has already prescribed against you. رُفِعَتَ الْأَقْلَامِ وَجَفَّتَ الصُّحَفِ The pens have been lifted and the pages have dried. So, as you can see, it's a very beautiful hadith. However, we are only going to focus on one part of the text, and that is, إذا سألت فاسأل الله وإذا استعنت فاستعن بالله So, this part of the hadith means, if you ask, then ask Allah alone, and if you seek help, then seek help from Allah alone. So the letter fa here would be equivalent to the word then. 
and it's different from the last meaning of then where it was sequence so um salwa came then amal came then sara came no this type of then is different the then here is actually in the response of a conditional sentence so a conditional sentence is when you have a sentence of two clauses the first clause is if you were to do this or if this happens and the second clause is the result or the response of that so here it says if you ask then ask allah and if you seek help then seek help from allah alone so it's kind of like bridging the sentence together with the condition and the response and that's it for the meanings of fa to recall what we went through in this lesson or video the first meaning was by such as shay'an fa shay'an yabni al-asfur wa and the secret tip to identifying this type of meaning was repetition shay'an fa shay'an the second meaning was so ijtahid ijtahid fa tanjah here we knew it was so because it was followed by a present tense verb We also talked about fa meaning for, such as Sa'id Zaydan fahuwa sadiqun. Help Zayd for he is your friend. Here the part of the sentence after fa was a nominal sentence, and so that's how we knew it was for. But such as the sentence قال ابني الحقيقة فلم أصدقه uh, my, son, my son told the truth but I did not believe him we said that we can identify this type of meaning through opposites the, the first part and the second part of the sentences are kind of opposite can also mean then such as جاءت سلوى فأمل فسارة and this type of then is for sequence who came first, second, and third. And the final meaning was in the condition response, which we just talked about. And this is used in conditional sentences. If you want our next video to be about the different faz mentioned in the Quran, then hit the like button and, and make sure to subscribe. And please do share this video. See you next time. Arabic with Amina.